Okay, Cynthia, I've got the completed uh, meds check document here for you. And as you can see, it's got a list of all your current medications, including uh, the non-prescription ones that, uh, that you told me about. And you know, it's a really great document to share mm -hmm. with everyone involved in your care, what, including your dentist, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you can see we've got the name of uh, your physician here, the name of the pharmacy that you deal with, my name, we've addressed uh, your intolerance as well. So great idea to take to all your medical appointments and also I always recommend to keep a copy with you if you can in your purse or in your wallet in the event of an emergency. Heaven forbid if you have to visit the emergency room you've mm -hmm. got it right then and there and that would be very helpful uh, for you. With your permission, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'd really like to send a copy of this off to your physician's mm -hmm. office for her records as well. So. In addition uh, to my signature, uh, I also need you to sign both documents here. Uh, one copy is for you and one is for our records. And your signature just shows that, you know, we did this uh, appointment together and that we both agree that the information is current and accurate. Perfect. Okay. I'll just sign as well. Well, that's great, Iris. Even 10 minutes to spare on your half an hour that you estimated. We did it. Right. Yeah, I really appreciate uh, your technician recommending the uh, the meds check to me, and I'm glad that we all had time to do it today. It's important to have this appointment at least once a year, like I said initially. Right? It's like visiting your doctor for your physical, you know, annual annual physical. This is coming in to see your pharmacist to talk about you and your medication. So, yeah, I know a year can go by very, very quickly, and I think it's a good idea to plan ahead. So what I'd like to do, if you agree, to, is to book your appointment for next year while I've got you here. Well, I don't know if that's a really good idea. I don't know my schedule. It's quite far in advance, but... Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I understand. If we do book it today, if we do pick a date, though, um, you know, someone from our pharmacy will call you, most likely it would be Jane, a week or two before. And if it, that time and date doesn't work for you, we can always reschedule. But what I like about booking it today is it just gets you into the system, into the cycle, and that way we, we, we won't miss it. Okay? Okay, well, I'll have a look at my um, calendar okay. here. Oh, my calendar. And, um, so we'd be looking at April of next year, mid, mid to late yeah. April. Yeah. About, uh, April 18th. What is that? 10 o'clock in the morning. How does that work? April 18th at 10 o'clock. Okay. I'll book you in. And uh, as I said, uh, we'll, uh, we'll give you a call okay. a week or two before. All right. Perfect. Great. So uh, the other thing I wanted to say is that the value in this document that we've created together here today is that, uh, that it's current and up to date. So if there are changes in your medications, um, you know, and what I mean by that is if you're prescribed something new or if they change the dose of your medication or how many times a day that you take it, if you develop any other intolerances that, you know, in addition to your penicillin, you uh, can book a, a meds check follow-up appointment with me um, and we can certainly sit down, discuss that, and then I can update your record to reflect those changes. So you don't have to wait until next mm -hmm. April to talk to me about that, okay? Great. All right, good. Okay, so in the meantime, here it is, and uh, please pack that with your travel documents and have a great holiday. All right. All right. Thanks very much. Thanks, Cynthia. Okay. okay, so Cynthia's on her way. So, did you survive? Absolutely. Thanks for holding down the fort. Any emergencies? No, everybody was pretty content to either come back later. I also arranged a few deliveries as well. Great. Um, but Mr. Wilson came in. Oh. Okay. And you know oh how he is. Yeah. Okay. Well, he insisted on seeing you and he wanted to know what you were doing in the counseling room and I told him you were doing a med check with a patient. Right. And he wanted to know all about that and I said we'd already tried to get him in for one before. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, as it happens, he's booked one for Friday now. So, he's going to come in. Jane great job with Mr. Wilson. I know how difficult he can be, so good work in, in getting a meds Thanks. check booked. Listen, here is the um, documentation for the meds check, and I know you know the routine with that, right? Yeah, so I'm going to um, fax it to the physician, uh, scan it to the patient profile, and of course, bill it. 
Perfect, yeah. And you know what else? Can you please uh, make a note in Cynthia's file that her meds check annual is booked for April the 18th of okay. next year? And also, can you write in a reminder to me that uh, I'd like to talk to her about uh, getting a home blood pressure monitor at her sure. next appointment, yeah. okay? No problem. And Jane, yes. you're the best. I know. So tell me, where do I start? Well, they're coming back in an hour, so I would start with this one. Okay. And that's the in part three, we saw Iris reviewing and explaining the medication list to Cynthia and reminded her on the benefits of sharing this document with everyone involved with her health care. In addition, Iris recommended to Cynthia the benefits of carrying a copy of her meds check list in her purse or wallet in case of an emergency. For completion of the meds check appointment, as well as the required documentation and billing procedures, Iris had Cynthia sign two copies of her medication list. Anticipating a question as to why the signature was needed, Iris indicated that it is needed to verify and document that the meds check appointment was performed and that Cynthia agrees to the accuracy of this generated medication list. As the final step, Iris reinforced the importance of having a meds check appointment annually. Cynthia acknowledged the benefits of the meds check program and Iris wisely opted to keep Cynthia engaged in her own care. Proactively, Iris immediately booked Cynthia for next year's meds check in a manner similar to the way physicians rebook an annual physical. Cynthia wasn't extremely keen on booking an appointment a year in advance, however, Iris persisted while reminding Cynthia that she could also reschedule if needed and she would call about two weeks prior to the next meds check annual to confirm this date. This suggestion of a flexible appointment time was enough to convince Cynthia to book her next meds check annual appointment a year in advance. Iris concluded the meds check appointment by informing Cynthia of the possibility of a meds check follow-up appointment if changes occurred on her medication list prior to her next meds check annual appointment. Once back in the dispensary, Iris engaged Jane to get a summary of everything that had happened while she was in the meds check appointment with Cynthia. This extremely important step allowed Iris to get caught up on everything that had happened in the pharmacy. Iris was very grateful to Jane for booking another meds check appointment with another patient. Iris asked Jane to complete the meds check billing procedure and to fax the completed meds check medication list to Cynthia's physician. Jane then scanned the medication list to Cynthia's profile, billed the meds check, and made documentation points for Cynthia's next appointment. This scenario highlights Iris and Jane utilizing strong operational strategies to effectively allow Iris to implement this unanticipated meds check appointment with minimal or no interruptions. In addition, Jane was also responsible for many of the administrative tasks of the meds check annual appointment. By delegating these tasks to Jane, Iris had more time to focus on the clinical issues of the appointment with Cynthia.